Hi, welcome to our course on data ingestion. In this lecture video, I am going to talk about what is data ingestion, what are the challenges faced during data ingestion, and the tools which are used to ingest the data. So what is data ingestion? In recent times, we have been faced with the reality of dealing with large volumes of data available in structured, semi-structured and unstructured forms. And of the business needing to arrive at real-time or near real-time insights for decision support and digital transformations. So in order to transform data into information or insight, we first need to get that data into Hadoop. So the process of importing, transferring, loading and processing data for later use or storage in database is called data ingestion. So it involves connecting to various data sources like relational database and extracting that data and detecting the chain data. So data ing ingestion subsystems need to fetch data from variety of sources such as relational databases, web logs, application logs, streaming data, social media, etc. So in data ingestion we see there can be many uh, variety of sources like batch, real time or streaming data. So batch data is the data from various source systems that are typically available as files, for example, text file, binary files, or image files, etc. Then the real-time data. Real-time data, it's not about storing and accumulating the data and transfer it later. Rather, it deals with moving data into big data systems as and when they arrive. So there, that is where we need real-time data ingestion. Then coming on to streaming data. It's very similar to real-time data processing, but data is processed based on incoming data flows. So data would be flowing in and insights are generated as the data flows in. So supposing a company wants, uh, instead of reporting accidents, it wants to predict events and ultimately change the outcomes. So in that case, it wants to ingest that streaming data. So all this is a big challenge to ingest this type, these type of data in big data ecosystem. So to fetch data for variety of from variety of sources and different forms of data presents a variety of challenges for an effective and robust data ingestion strategy. So what are these challenges? One challenge is ingesting data from multiple sources. So one data is coming from relational database, others generated online and other data coming from other systems maybe. So how to ingest data coming from multiple sources is, is one of the challenges. Then to ingest streaming or real time data, that is another challenge. Like data like coming from uh, log files, e-commerce purchases, then geospatial services or information from social networks like Twitter and Facebook. So this data coming in real time is quite important because um, companies it's uh, visibility into many aspects of their business and customer activity. For example server activity, website clicks etc. Like a real world example can be a real estate website tracks a subset of data from consumers mobile device and makes real time property recommendations of properties to visit based on geolocation. So that is a real world example where we need this kind of streaming in real time data. It's a challenge. Then the speed of ingestion. So data sources uh, deliver data at varying frequencies. For example, discussion forum digest amount to large data but appears at low frequency like it will appear in daily or weekly basis. While tweets, uh, they are small volumes of data, but they appear quite frequently. So we require some rapid ingestion using parallel processing or using multiple input data streams for such type of data. So speed is where the challenge here is. Then the volume of data is of course a challenge. Change detection. So another challenge is the detection and capture of change data. So this task is difficult due to the low latency needed by certain business scenarios that require this determination. Now some of the key functions of ingestion. So data ingestion process begins by prioritizing data sources, validating individual files and routing data items to the correct destination. 
So first collection of data from the source that is important. Sources can be click streams, data center logs, sensors, APIs or even databases. They use various data formats like structured, unstructured, semi-structured etc. And can make data available in a stream or batches. Then the filtering part. And then the routing to one or more data stores. So routing of data from source to data stores can be simple or complex with routing rules based on attributes of the data and with automatic conversion of data types and formats. So this is all about what is data ingestion and what are the challenges faced during data ingestion. In next lecture video we are going to talk about different data ingestion tools. Thanks a lot.